Level 3 Personal Training Anatomy and Physiology Joint Structure, Actions and the Pelvic Girdle By the end of this session you will be able to Describe joint structure with regard to range of movement and injury risk. Describe joint movement potential and joint actions. And describe the structure of the pelvic girdle and associated muscles and ligaments. There are three classifications of joints. Fibrous, cartilaginous, and synovial. Fibrous joints are also known as immovable joints. Cartilaginous are also known as slightly movable joints. Synovial are known as freely movable joints. Let's have a look at fibrous first. Fibrous joints, such as those joints found within the skull, have very high levels of stability. They obviously lack ability for movement. And the main risk of injury is fractures to the bone. Cartilaginous joints, like those found in the spine, have moderate levels of stability and very limited movement. Synovial joints such as those found in the shoulder, hips, knees, have lower levels of stability. This is due to their large movement potential, which increases the injury risk, particularly to the connective tissues, such as the ligaments and the tendons. The pelvic girdle. You can see in the diagram that the large flat surface is called the ilium. The front of the pelvis is called the anterior superior iliac spine. Further down you can see the acetabulum, followed by the pubis. Then right at the bottom known as the sit bones, is the ischium. On the reverse of the pelvic girdle, we have the posterior superior iliac spine, the sacroiliac joint, and the sacrum. There are also several muscles that support the structure of the pelvic girdle. The abdominals, hip flexors, quadrat quadratus lumborum, the lumbar erectors, the hamstrings, the adductors, abductors, the tensile fasciae latae, gluteals, and the latissimus dorsi. Can you now describe joint structure with regard to range of movement and injury risk? Describe joint movement potential and joint actions. Describe the structure of the pelvic girdle and associated muscles and ligaments. For more health and fitness education, visit www.stormfitnessacademy.co.uk